Are you using albums in On One Photo Raw? If you are, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're not, you might be missing out on one of the coolest organizational tools that On One has to offer. Let's go ahead and dive into the computer and take a look at it. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw. And as you can see, I'm just looking at a collection of images that I've already collected from Unsplash. You can get all of these images from Unsplash using the link in the description box below. But today's video is actually centered around using albums so that way you can keep yourself organized and what I like to call them is my custom workspaces. And we'll talk about that here in a second. So really easy. All an album is, is a collection of your images. So that way you can work on them without having to hunt around inside of folders. So let's go ahead and create an album. Now I'm going to select a few photos here at random and notice that I'm selecting an on photo file here, which is right there. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And then I'm just going to select a JPEG here and I'll select this one here as well. So I have a pretty fair representation. And what I want you to note is you can put pretty much anything inside of an album. If it is a file that on one can create, you can move it into an album. So all I'm going to do is come over here to where it says albums in my left pane. If this is hidden, you probably just got to click the little left pane icon here and it'll open it up for you. And we're going to click the plus icon and then you just click create album. Now, the first option in the dialog box is what are you going to name this album for today's purposes? I'm just going to label this uh, album. Uh, tut. And then the next option here is add selected items. I want to check this because I selected three images. I want those images to end up inside of my album. If I left this unchecked, then it would just be an empty album and that would be really a pointless uh, tutorial, right? So I want to teach you how to create these albums with your images going into them. And another option is publish to cloud sync. We're not going to go into great detail about this in today's tutorial. If that's something you're interested in, leave a comment down below and I'll make a dedicated video on on one So now that we have our title for our album and we have the check block for add selected items, we're going to hit OK. And it doesn't look like anything happened. But actually, if you look over here underneath the albums, you'll see we now have an album tut folder. So if I click on that, the three images that I selected earlier, the on photo file. And remember, this is the on photo file. And if you're not familiar with those, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll talk about those. If that's a video that maybe you'll find some value in uh, having content on. And then we just have an unedited JPEG. And then we have a edited JPEG. If you are familiar with the motion blur uh, hack that I used earlier, that's that image. So why did I show this? Well, all of these images are really just shortcuts to the original file. We didn't move the original file anywhere. All of these are still within their parent folder. And the way that I can verify this is I can right click on, let's say this image here and I can hit show in finder cause I'm on a Mac. Yours may say show in Explorer if you are on a PC. And when I click this, the folder, it showed up on a separate window because I'm working in full screen. So bear with me for a second. We'll just make that not full screen. As you can see, I have my unsplash images folder and this is just my finder uh, and all of the images that are contained and it's selected that one. So all this is doing is pointing me to this image over here in my finder. But what it's also doing is allowing me to make edits because I have full 
every capability that I have inside of a folder, I have inside of albums. And this is where they become really, really powerful organizational tools. And I think this is something that many people overlook. So I want to help you see how you can use the albums to keep yourself organized and maybe even have a little bit more enjoyment out of working inside of on one albums come in two types essentially the first type is going to be the non-shared type and those are identified based off of not having this little globe or icon for the on one 360 uh, on it and then there's the shared type of album where you can send it to on one 360 and you can open these on multiple computers or you can open it in the mobile application on iOS or Android devices. Now, with that being said, right now, I'm currently not sharing this. This allows me to do something that you can't do with a synced or a shared album. And that is nesting an album. So essentially what I can do is create a sub album or I can make this a sub album of my tutorial albums. And I'm saying albums a lot. Sorry if that's confusing, but hopefully what I'm about to do makes sense. Now I can drag this album from here and I can drop it right on top of the tutorial albums and it will now be stored underneath this album. This is really handy if you're working on a project that has multiple categories and you want to separate your workspace. Again, that's what I call these are my individual workspaces. So if I know like I'm always doing tutorials on, on one, but I need to categorize my images so that way I'm not looking at this all the time. It's like, hey, you know what? I only want to look at one thing so or a few images that I'm going to work with. And this just makes it a lot easier for you to stay uh, maybe creative, but definitely organized. So I'm not searching for all of the images that I need to find. That brings me to another point of why you want to use this. If I had all of these images in separate folders, so... This is one big folder, and that's where I drug all of those images from. However, if I were to come up here, and this is a different folder, if I wanted to add these, so I'll select a few, I can right click on here, and I can come up to add to album. Now, notice it's given me all of my albums, so all I have to do is navigate to wherever the album that I want to store these photos are, or wherever I want to store these photos is, and then drop it there. So to do that, all I have to do is come down to the very bottom item here, because I'm in the tutorial albums uh, menu. That's where I have this particular album that I'm working on, and it's the second option here. So when I click that, it didn't move any of these images from their physical location. But notice I have images from one folder and I have images from another folder. And when I click on the album tut, I now have images from multiple folders inside of one album. And that's why I call this my workspace. So if you know that you have photos in like seven different folders, you can go and grab the amount of images you need and drop them into the album. And to the best of my knowledge, you can make unlimited uh, or you can put unlimited amounts of photos inside of the album. So make it make sense for your workflow. So if you're finding value in today's content, go ahead and smash the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Both of those things are absolutely free. And if you want to pick up a version of On One, then check the description box below and use the affiliate link. I get a small commission, whatever purchase you make over on the On One website when you do that. And I greatly appreciate it. It helps this channel continue to grow. So the next thing that I want to share with you about albums, at least from the nested version, is you can create sub albums. Now, I don't know of any other program that allows you to do this. I don't believe 
Lightroom allows you to do this. And if you look over here, you can click this little chevron. You see I have uh, the first chevron, which is to my tutorial albums. But when I was doing live streams, and maybe I'll get back into those, uh, you'll see that I have a live stream photos folder. And that's where all of the photos that I was working on for the live streams, that's where they lived. So that way it was easy for me to stay organized and know which images I was going to edit on the live stream. So that's something that you can absolutely do. Now, the downside to nesting albums is that you can't share them to on 1360. The only way that you can share an album to On1360 is if it is a standalone album. So if I wanted to share this particular album to On1360 and maybe have the capability of working on this project on the go, I can right click on the album and I can click move to top. Now, it's not actually moving it to the top of the list. This is just alphabetical order. It's actually taking it out of the nested version of the album and making it a standalone album. So now when I right click on it, I have the option to publish to cloud. All right. So when I click on this, it's going to publish to cloud sync and I'm just going to click on it and we'll wait for that to populate. But what on one is doing is connecting to my on one 360 cloud service, which is a paid subscription. And it is uploading the version of the image to the cloud based on what I select. Now you can select that type of image by right clicking on here and hitting sync options. Now, if you recall earlier, when we were creating the album, there were two check blocks inside of that dialogue. The first one was to add the items that we just selected. And then there was another one that says publish to cloud sync. Well, that's what this would have done if I wanted to create an album directly to cloud sync. But if you want to do it later, you absolutely can just as I demonstrated. And there's two ways that you can publish to the cloud or at least two versions of the file. You can either do what I do nine times out of 10, which is publish sync previews. What this is doing is it's publishing a smaller version of your file to your on one 360 cloud service. And most of the time when I'm working on my files in this manner, I'm usually on some form of hotel Wi-Fi, which may not be the greatest Wi-Fi available. So having a smaller file makes it a little bit easier for those to stay manageable. But the other one is the original file. And that's essentially exactly what it sounds like the original file. This can be, you know, a little cumbersome on the on one 360 service. And I'm not going to, uh, again, talk too much about that. If you got questions or you want to know more about on one 360, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer that. And maybe make a video dedicated to on one 360 uh, itself. But moral of the story, I use the sync previews. And whenever you do this, you lose the capability of nesting your album, but you have it available to you on the go. I only do that whenever I want to work with the file on a full version of on one. So my laptop workflow, is typically where that is. Albums are a great way to stay organized and create alternate workspaces so you can be uh, as creative as possible. And one of those ways is I have my family workspace or my family albums workspace. And for all of the projects that I work on, you can see I have a album essentially for each of those. That works great for me because it allows me to just throw in uh, photos as I need to. Now that you're organized using albums, you're ready to start editing photos. So check the video out on the screen to learn more about how you can edit inside of On One. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.